Okay, who's up next? Ah, it's you guys, Razor. I'll turn the dings off. I like a good ding. <laughs> we should put it back I on love, again. I love that bright box. It's absolutely wicked. I can't wait to take my kids there. Um, they'll, yeah. they'll love it. Yeah, yeah. Teach them how to solve problems, not how to write code. I love that. <laughs> okay. Uh, hi, Andy. Hi. <laughs> how you doing? Yeah, you right. yeah. How you doing? Nice to meet you. You too. Andy. Yes. Chris. Chris. Andy. <laughs> I know Jamie. Yeah, you knew me. I feel yeah. like I should be keeping it like this, but. <laughs> Okay, uh, so this is uh, Andy Gunn and uh, Jamie Hinton from Razor, um, who are here to talk about Market of Mums. Yeah. Um, so should we look at the first of your slides yeah. that you've brought with you? Let's have a look. So talk, talk about this. So you, you can look down here yeah, rather yeah. than at the big I was going to say, what, what actually is this Market of Mums? Um, it's a peer-to-peer -peer shopping um, product. So if... When I say to people, what is, they ask me what this is, I say, have you ever heard of Depop? And most people go, nah, I never heard of Depop. And then I, I broaden it and I go, have you ever heard of uh, eBay? And they go, oh yeah, I've heard of eBay. Well, it's like eBay, but very, very niche products. It's aimed at mums to sell to mums, or dads, if, however you know you want to do it, because we're very socially aware of, of everything. We're very broad. Um, and it's, to, it's, it's a, a product that enables mums to... Uh, have a safe environment to actually sell uh, products to other mums and actually start fostering relationships. So it's more than just a, um, uh, a transactional thing, that you actually build a community. Okay. So it's like a, a social network that provides support and, yeah. you know, friendship. All, all of that, all of that. But also, of you can flog your old baby stuff to new mums. Yeah, and it does some really cool. It does some really cool things because it's a big problem, isn't it? Yeah. We, you know, if you have kids, you know that you usually have lots and lots of stuff, and it's like, how how do you do it? When do you do it? Um, and there's also that problem of when people buy you things, they buy you a jumper for a certain age, and then you realise that oh, bugger, it won't fit them. That jumper won't be the right size oh. in the in yeah. the winter. <laughs> so we're solving those yeah, problems yeah. as well okay. for people. Okay. All right. Uh, so how did this come about? Yeah. Amazing. How did it come about? <laughs> so um, this product was actually spawned uh, from two guys called Ben and Tom Richardson, and they uh, had a sister who had a baby, and they spotted that actually there's all this stuff, and what, what do you do with it after you've done it? What, what do you buy? When do you buy it? Uh, and they saw a gap in the market. And obviously there's like Facebook Marketplace, and a lot of mums do that, but it can be quite... Um, intimidating you know it's, it's, it's a safe environment so what they did was they they had a product built um, offshore okay. uh, they then marketed this product uh, and it was really 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 successful the technology didn't keep up it actually right. fell over okay so so they, they had an idea and they they got it they got Made, it built yeah. by Badly. an offshore development company yeah Badly, and it wasn't scalable. It yeah. didn't have a decent architecture. How many users did and it so have? <laughs> well, how many transactions did it, did it have? Not, not, not a lot, really. No, it couldn't even handle the traffic. Right. So it's, it's yeah. the usual case of most people can see a bad drawing. They can, you go, that's a, here, Chris, do you like this drawing? No, it's a stick man. That's rubbish. Yeah. But if you show someone, do you like this code? You'll go, <laughs> I don't know, is it any good? Yeah. How many people can actually spot good and bad code? Not very many. Uh, and that's what they were basically sold. But pr presumably, when, when you looked at it, you thought, here's an opportunity for us. It wasn't like, this is terrible code, what are you doing? Oh, it no, was, no, we threw it in the bin. This is a great idea. Mm, no, we we, we could it, rebuild this. Yeah, so what happened was it, it actually came through um, our non-exec director, a guy called Julian Kinniston, who runs an agency in Leeds called Propaganda. And he was working with a customer called uh, Jim King, who's run by a guy called Jay Parker. Now, that's yeah. where the connection came. It's like, well, we're great at all this marketing stuff, and we've got an amazing channel to this. Right. How do we, we need some technical people who can build this. Do we know any technical people? Oh, Razor. So we were then employed to, to build this product. Okay, and th these, these, these guys are in Leeds, is that right? That's right, they're in Leeds okay. and York. Okay, so, uh, so do, they, Leeds. Do, they, do they just hired you? Did they? No. Um, so we actually, we are vested in this product. Okay. So we have a share in this product. It's something that we own too which we're, we're pretty yeah. proud of. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's ours too. Right, okay. So you're now co-owners of the product yep. and you, you provide the technical know-how yeah. to make sure that it doesn't fall over when a hundred mums at once, once all want yeah, to transact. Yeah, a hundred, a hundred thousand. Yeah. 
So, okay, so you, these are the people that you've just mentioned. Yeah, they? the, the one, the, someone that I didn't really mention is, is the celebrities that are involved in this, and this is how the, we got huge amounts of traction. So I mentioned Jay Parker, who is uh, that guy there, if I can point him out. Um, he, he owns a, a, a clothing brand called Jim King, and he's, he, he's built a very big business very quickly using uh, the social uh, influencers and that social market. Um, and he was able to engage with the celebrities. Andy, you can tell me who the celebrities are. Um, yeah, share, share the microphone. If yeah, go on. Yeah, so we've got um, celebrities from TOWIE, uh, Fermacan, uh, Chloe Sims, if anyone has heard of those. Sort of gauging the audience. Uh, <laughs> Love Island, that's back on at the minute, if anyone watches Love Island. Um, Teen Mom. Uh, a few bloggers, um, Sophie from Coronation Street, she was actually at the, the launch event, this was, was this last month? Or? Yeah, it was. Yeah. So you have, it's like a supply chain for you guys, you know, oh, the, yeah. you have Love Island and then... Yeah, and then they, they all have moms, babies! They all have and babies. And then they, they use and this then, app. Yeah. It's so, they're all, and obviously we've got uh, Jay Parker, um, we've got Julian Kinniston involved, and we've got Mark and Julie Hardenberg from Angel Care. So lots right, of specialists okay. from different perspectives. Yeah. So we bring the tech, obviously, and we make that work. And then we've got all the specialists in different areas from the marketing, the, marketing, the PR, and, PR yeah. and the brand building. And presumably that's, that's all that's through Instagram as well. And Instagram, yeah. Twitter, yeah. mainly Instagram, Instagram, I think, is, yeah, the, is yeah. the big thing. Just, just one more thing on the, on the celeb. So uh, the lady in the middle, that's Callie Jane. Um, if, if any of you watch Love Island, um, a few years ago, I think she was the first, well, the first one to have the first Love Island baby. Um, so she's the brand ambassador um, for, for Market Mums. So she's like top dog celeb. Um, you know, we've got other celebs, but she's the best. <laughs> cool, okay. yeah, so it's, it's a really good mix of, of different people. Yeah, Not everyone's yeah, on that photograph, but uh, yeah. you know, it's, it, I think that's what's really key, the, the mixture of um, really expert and experienced people in this project. Okay, so we'll, we'll come on to how big the platform is in a sec, but um, I think you've got a slide on how it was made. So oh, hand over to Andy. Yeah. So Andy, you're, you're head of build, aren't you? At yeah, so this, this product is my baby. Um, okay. It's probably the best thing that I've made in my career, the most interesting um, one as well. Um, and the fact that it's reached out to so many people um, is, is really good. You yeah. know, sometimes you work on products and they're, they're internal products, or they're, they're just not known by your friends. Yeah, um, this is a big mass market. Yeah. So when we launched this, you know, a lot of my friends um, were downloading it. I've recently started a family, so it was relevant for me. Um, yeah. I think it was basically a week after launch. Um, you know, we, we uh, had a son, so we were we were buying and selling stuff on there. Right, so you've actually used it. Yeah, um, yeah, as yeah. A customer. my partner was one of the first ones to use it. Um, she actually bought one of the Angel Care products, um, so you know we got testers for free. Yeah. Um, but you know, it, it got shared by by all of my friends and family because it was relevant. Uh -huh. so, so, so talk a little bit about the infrastructure. Like, what did you? You know, how did you gauge what kind of scale it needed to be and, and what the architecture needed to be? So, I mean, we, we, we guessed that the numbers would be high. Um, going off Jim King's reputation yeah. uh, with social media, we knew that their influencers would bring the users in. Um, so we knew that we needed a platform that was scalable, resilient, reliable. And we knew that the, the previous platform just didn't provide that. Yeah. Um, so we're all about Microsoft, Microsoft first. So we looked at Azure. Um, and we use the platform as a service. Uh, so that gave us a way to, to make things scalable, um, potentially infinitely. Mm -hmm. So when we get uh, you know, a celeb posting around eight o'clock in the evening, yeah. um, we might get a few thousand uh, users sign up, um, extra products sold, et cetera, et cetera. So we can just turn on auto scaling, um, extra servers are brought in, we don't need to worry about it. You know, we're at home having tea or whatever. Yeah. You don't need to... No. Pay particular attention, so we're not or paying. schedule things in advance, or no. have a, a well, complex we, rotor set up. For we, we we might monitoring. put a, a schedule in place just in case, but yeah. we've we've got like the the capability to turn things up automatically. Mm -hmm. You know, we're constantly monitoring memory, CPU, that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we don't have to be there. You know, it's not like we've got dedicated servers um, that mm -hmm. are costing you know hundreds of pounds to have them them on and, and paying for someone to maintain them. Um, we're just utilizing Azure um, mm -hmm. and everything that's in there, um, letting that do, do the hard work for us. And 
just just honors you we're using some of the really advanced features such as the cognitive services okay. um so if anyone uploads a, a product image or a, a profile picture we we check that they've not uploaded any nudity right. um you know because we want to create a, a safe and secure yeah. network for the parents that's that's one of the core uh, mantras that we've got our testers enjoyed that one Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think I've still got. Uh, yeah. Do, I mean, do you get stuff being flagged through the through those processes? Yeah. So b basically, every time an image is uploaded, yeah. it automatically goes into the Azure Cognitive Services, uh -huh. um, and that that product or that that user profile will get flagged. Someone will have the uh, the nice job of going reviewing that. Yeah. Um, some of them some of them better than others. You know. We, you know. So sometimes we get false positives. It's like, sure. oh, that's not, not, not racy, but you know, sometimes there is actual uh, racy content. Yeah, yeah. We can then take that down immediately. Cool. So, so how, long did it, how long did the project take from when you first looked at the terrible code that you um, produced? Deleted it. Yeah. Um, I think... Just spinning up, you know, and relaunching. I think it was probably about three, three four months, maybe. Um, it was quite a big project. Um, yeah. Yeah, there's quite a lot of moving parts in there. So we've got a mobile app that's written in Xamarin Forms, um, so we can write the code once and we can target both platforms. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got a front-end site, so you can go to marketandmums.com, you can see some of the products. Uh, we've got a back-end site where you can moderate all your images, um, you know, look at a user, see what they've been doing. Um, right. Because, again, we want to create the safe and secure network. You can uh, report a user if they're being abusive, um, you know, that we've got a messaging platform, so we've, we've got all bases covered. Um, so yeah, there's quite a move, few moving parts there. Yeah, cool. And so what, the, I think the last slide is about scale, so yes. where, where are you now? So at the minute, I, I mean, that says 50,000 users. Um, we had a check today, and that's more like 60,000. Um, so, and these were generated last week? Yeah. So. I was so on it. <laughs> yeah. He's, he was organized. Um, so, you know. It, it, I took the mick out of him for delivering the slides a week early. That was impressive. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happens, you get your numbers wrong. <laughs> They're not up to date. So, so yeah, um, more like 60,000 users, um, around 25,000 products on there. Okay. Um, Is that active users or just registrations? Or? So in terms of active users, we're about 1,000 a day, okay. um, which looks about 14 to 15,000 a month. So it's, you know, it's pretty decent active users. Yeah. Um, Total products sold two and a half thousand um, since around February time. And w was it launched in the new year or? Yes, it was launched. It was sort of soft launch January February, yeah. um, and then you know we had the the launch party last month, so that's right, okay. that's like official launch. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. a lot of these numbers came came pre official launch, um, mainly due to the the social activity. Yeah. So all of the celebs doing their job, yeah. um, which has worked really well. Um, so mm. they're they're bringing bringing these new users in, and, and the attraction is that you can buy a product from Kelly Jane um, or Firma Can. Mm -hmm. So they might post five products, and, and they're gone instantly. Right, so and presumably then, for the celebrities, it's a way of extending their careers as well, post exactly. major uh, reality show. Yeah, of course. Yeah, ev everyone wins, basically. Right. Um, and, and then whilst we've got you whilst, you, whilst you're in the platform, have you got any products to sell? Mm -hmm. You know, that's how we can keep the wheel, keep the wheel rolling, uh, so to speak. Um, but in terms of other stats, uh, we've got about 35 million social reach, and that's, that's not just through Market and Mums Instagram, that's through the network of celebs that we've got. So they've obviously got a vast following. You know, right. Some of them might have a million, a couple of million yeah, yeah, each, each celeb. Um, we're looking to be on target for about 250 downloads by end of the year ish. 250? You mean 250,000? So 250, yeah. Obviously, obviously, obviously <laughs> had a K on there. Uh, yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, yeah, congratulations. I mean, it seems like a really interesting product and a, a really steep growth curve. So congratulations and a big round of applause for Razor. Thank you.